appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. God's all. And you can't really. Super long hole. Wait, nigga. This from Timo or this? No, 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 no. no. Don't call me. Oh, you can't force this. You have to promote that, though. Nah, nah. The Zaza. The special. I'm keeping that same energy. Boy, you're trying to get me to say that. I'm gonna show you guys how you can flip $30 of some stinky, moldy fish into some grade A work, all right? These jeans right here, they've been sitting on the shelves. We bought them clothes out. So we took two jeans, we cut one pair to make them into jorts, we sew them together, and we make these right here. So this is essentially $20 that we rework, re grip, re flip. I learned it from Pratt City Savage. Take it, steal it, re grip it, re trip it, triple and double it. That's what we're doing. And we sell these for $60. So we're turning $20 into $60. And then here's the crazy thing, all right? This right here is a new product that we're developing. These scraps are from the other scrap. So this one, we take Ten dollars and regripping it, tripling it, flipping it, dipping it, it, whatever. Crash City Savage said, and we sell these for sixty. That's how you turn thirty dollars of stinky fish and turn it into grade A smokable work. Right, the ruler? We ain't going for that. He's trying to get another interview out right now. I'm ready for the next interview. Super the loud. ruler said the price just went up. Price sky high. Price just went sky fucking high. He always give me when I ain't got no rule on. Remember what you told me? It's not on you. It's in you. Hey, this shit in you, not on you, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, I'm dripping. No chain. It don't matter. Keep flossing. This shit is not. Out there. This shit is not you. This shit in me, not on me. Alright, guys, now cue the beautiful montage of us going to Gasso. Guys, we just made it to God's soul. We left the warehouse. I hate it when I leave the warehouse because I have anxiety. That's my baby. But they want me to come here and they want me to dance and put on a show and troll people and maybe get punched in the face. But that's what they want me to do. Let's go check it out. We went up there. We said, we got media passes. They said, y'all not even C-list celebrities. Y'all on F-list. Damn, God's soul. That's how you doing us? Damn. It's okay. It's okay. Reference this video. Sneaker con would never. And think about it this way. Gotta wait in them lines because one day we're not going to have to wait in them lines no more. It's a process. Trust the process. I seen the no jumper interview where they're talking about the pre-order method, right? Exactly. Everybody on TikTok trying to fucking shame on your neck. What's your what's your rebuttal to all that? Just know I got some shit on the way. Some I'm gonna step on next. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What was your first flip ever in life? I used to sell shoes. I used to buy shoes, wear them, and then I used to sell them when I got tired of them, and I would just trade up basically. Yeah. What was your biggest flip? I don't even know. Cause at this point, I don't even. Everything's a flip. Exactly. Your whole life, your day to day is a flip. Day to day. Atlanta money glitch. No. Nah. <laughs> what? Why is it no? Because it's not a thing. What do you mean by that? It just work. That's the glitch. Just work. Yeah, yeah. How do you create such an image? So we got Trim Vic right here, right? We're trying to get him to have motion like you. What's the advice you have for him? Everybody got motion in their own way at the end of the day. There's levels to this shit. There's levels to life. Let's keep working. When can we get a Juan Superline Blake? Let's work on it. Superline whole way, nigga. What, what's your name? Jonathan with Gasol. Jonathan. When did you start this convention? It started in 2013 when I was 14 years old, so 10 years ago. How did you build it up to what it is today? We started our first event was in a small little church. There was only like 200 people there, 16 tables. Now there's 5,000 people, 400 tables. So it was really just growing it over time. We're going city to city. We're in 10 cities now and just really working hard for the last 10 years. People think we came out of nowhere now, but. What was the biggest jump or flip that you did? From going from 200 to getting here, what was like the one moment where I was like, damn, this shit helped me a lot. So we went into COVID with like, maybe around 3,000 people were coming to the event around there in Boston. The first event back, 7,000 people showed up and it got like shut down, it was so many people. I think just growing our brand through COVID, you know, on TikTok and with influencers and stuff like that, celebrities, we didn't realize what 80,000 followers, at the, now we have like almost a million followers. We had 80, we didn't realize what that was going to translate to in real life and it translated to you know that much more yeah i feel like sneaker shows and like going to sneaker stuff like this is very saturated yeah how do you differentiate the brand and yourself from all the other noise i think at the end of the day the biggest thing is we want people to have an experience you can buy sneakers in so many different places you know there's a million different platforms and there's other events and there's sneaker stores and we work with a lot of the different companies in the space but it's like 10 years from now i don't specifically know if someone's going to remember where they bought a pair of jordan ones from even if they do remember are they really gonna care in my opinion? Sometimes yes, but sometimes, oh, whatever, I bought them at this store. What we really strive for, for Got Soul, is that 10 years from now, people not to remember what shoe they bought, but the experience they had, the celebrity they met or they saw on stage, or the business connection they made, the friend they made. Just that energy, really just trying to be the energetic new breath of fresh air in the sneaker world. That's the long answer, but that's how we try to differentiate Got Soul, and, and you can't really describe it until you've been here. That's an incredible answer. Last question, if you could go back to like the 18 year old version of yourself or the 14 year old version of yourself starting these events what's one advice you'd give yourself you know what you're doing just keep going to be honest I mean I had no clue what I was doing right I was a 14 year old kid but my gut knew and that's all that really mattered and anyone out there it's like this sounds so cliche but if you just go with your gut even if you get it wrong you didn't get it wrong if that makes sense so I would just say just do what you think is right period I appreciate it bro appreciate nice it. to meet you hey shout Thank out to you guys everything you guys Thank are doing you. what's up bro you on the vlog what's up bro
Korean to Korean, you got a perm in your hair? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm about to get one on a Sunday. Perm boys. It helps does, a lot. Does, it, does having a perm help you make more money? Uh, nah, nah. nah. You don't think something about the hair and the heat makes your brain activate more and shit? Nah, it fucks you up more. This from Timu or this legit? That's all legit. What you got on? What, what are these? Uh, all off, off white? How much are those? Brand new, about like 7,000. 7,000? Your mommy and daddy got a nice job? My mom, kind of, but yeah, I've been doing this for about two years now. How old are you? Uh, 17. 17 year old hustler. How'd you get started? What was your first flip? A Jordan 1 Heritage. How much you buy them for? How much you sell them for? I bought them for 220, sold them for 270. What'd you do after that? You just doubled down? Yeah, I kept buying more U shoots, like locally, doing meetups. What's the uh, biggest flip you ever had? Harris Dunk, size 8.5. I bought it for 27,000, sold it for 34,000. 27,000 to 34,000? Who bought the fucking shoe for $34,000? One of my boys in New York. He's a trust fund baby. Nah, he's he, he been working. That's crazy. Listen, if you spending $34,000 on a shoe, you're too rich for me. I can't be, I'm not in that class. So what's the hustle now is you got, I see you got a camera guy here, right? Yeah, I'm trying to start up content, might as well, cause I'd be going to like every event. 17 is crazy. Have you made a sale today? No, nah, I'm just buying today. And I sell them on my story on Instagram. What's your Instagram if they want to follow you? Switch sneakers on Instagram. What's the heat you got? Show me the bangers. What is the YouTube? need to see right here we got some tiffany sbs yeah how much are these i'm asking a thousand for them Get my diamond tester out. Hey, 17 years old, bro. He's young as shit. Hustle. How so, much are these? Off white Brooklyn. You only sell creme de la creme. You don't sell no uh, shake, no mid, only Zaza. I mean, I mostly do the grails. You should be the grail king. That's a new Instagram handle. Hey, last time I saw this man, I was at a tattoo shop. I was fucking, I was such a pussy. Yeah, everyone, I got the footage. Stop playing. He was like, why are you being a pussy? I was like, I dog, this footage. shit hurt. Elias, one of the best. Boy. He's the last one that tattooed me. After that, I couldn't yeah. handle it. Good luck, man. I see, bro. Oh, this super line. I'm going, yeah. man. My name Cad Kits, man. What's going? You're a lot taller in person. For real. Yeah. I don't even got my uh, height boosters on. You, you got like that Rick Owens sort of like presence. Whatever that means. Okay. <laughs> What's up with the boot? Where's all the merch? Where'd it go? Oh. It sold out. Oh, no. he, Luxury Box bought don't it all. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Come on, now that's where it's at. Yeah. I don't got shit, they bought it all. What's the first flip you ever had? When I was in elementary school, I don't know if I even should say this, but I had two two dollar bills and I went to a kindergarten and I don't know why he had a dog, which is a twenty dollar bill, and I had two dollars, he had twenty. That was my first flip. I flipped two dollars and twenty. Yo, that's that's crazy. I'm proud of that shit though. I be thinking about that shit every day. Why? Did you rob him? He know. He thought two bills was more than one, but he didn't understand money yet. I really taught him a lesson though. I hope he's doing good in life. <laughs> What's your biggest flip? Uh in Glock with trustees. How much you put in and how much you uh, made? There's too many copycats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I seen this brand come up, right? It's literally called Copycat. Yeah, they and they copy literally copied them. And then I copied them. How do you feel about that? I know who it is. They called me before they did it. So you pulling up with 30 goons on them or what? Nah, I just dropped the same shirt they dropped. So there's no beef. It's all good. I ain't gonna say it's all it ain't no beef, but it ain't all good though. We don't promote beef here on nah, Superline. Nah, nah, Everything nah, nah, kosher. Nah. I think the good thing is you bounce back. Everything's like good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though like when y'all posting me, everybody was hating on me in the comments, talking about I ain't getting none of the money, I ain't pay my taxes and shit. I'm a smart man. My taxes been paid. Bro, this man flipped two dollars into twenty dollars. Why are you worried about him paying taxes? He got motion. You see the book bag? If you could go back to the 18 year old version of yourself, like starting out trying to figure it out, right? What's the one tip or advice you'd give yourself? Just wait until Corona hit. Pandemic. <laughs> pandemic. We ran it up in a pandemic. But nah, for real. Um, I just say like when I turned 18, like I was just like figuring myself out. So I just say be patient with myself and like really take time to like find myself for real. There ain't no rush. You ain't in competition with nobody. Like God got your story written already. Just take your path and go with it. We don't even promote that though. Nah, nah. nah. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Good luck, man. bro. Good luck. What you selling out here? English Bulldogs. You brought English Bulldogs to the sneaker show. I did. Hey, everybody in the market to buy, right? What's so special about these dogs? The English Bulldogs, they just chill. My dog. boy want the mic. <laughs> what you got to say to the camera? <laughs> boy, if you don't... How much do one of these dogs go for? 4500 4500 What makes them so special? Just the fact that they come from a healthy line of the Bulldogs and they purebred. What was your biggest flip ever? It could have been dogs, shoes, whatever. My biggest flip? It has to be the dogs. We sold one for 75 75 And how much did it cost you to raise the dog and breed the dog and all that stuff? Maybe about two, two thousand. There's even a market for designer dogs. It is a supermarket. We're in Georgia and it's a big bulldog state. So here we go. My husband, he sells pools. Trapping pools and trapping dogs. Get it how you live. Hey, millionaires got several hustles.
hustles, right? We trying to get them. Got Instagram? A-M-O-R 99. Y'all tap in. The Zaza, the special way. <laughs> Good boy. Backpack kid, what's up bro? I feel like you've been viral on the internet before like it was a thing, right? What's the one thing you've learned from that experience? You gotta be consistent, you gotta keep it going. Everyone knows I got big for the dance, so I started getting into music, I do production now, I play piano. Not everyone knows about the things that I do yet, but I still have a lot of followers on social media that follow what I do now, so I'm focusing on building that rather than still doing the dance everywhere. When you did the dance, did you know it was gonna go viral? No. So I'm keeping that same energy for the next time. What was the moment when you went viral? Like, how did that feel? Were you in your room? Like, what happened? It was just overnight viralness. All these accounts started posting me. I started getting all these followers. Everyone was commenting and liking. But that's rare. I don't expect that to happen the next time I blow up. I gotta work for it. What was the first I, thing I, you did after I that? I posted like 30 videos. 30, 50 videos. I was spamming them shit. Well, I appreciate it, bro. Nice to meet you, man. See you all around. The richest man I know. What kind of diamonds is these? BS1 only. Dude, you got all chrome hearts? The only way. How much is this setup right here? So like eight grand maybe. Eight grand. On the low end. Whoever needs eight grand, come I'll holla. Keep it at humble. How much is the bag? Like 15 grand. So you got what, like 25 racks on you right now? Just in chrome. And the glasses, and the and hat. And the hat, and the earrings. We keep going. What are you gonna do when they send the goons after you? They not, because I got super line behind me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Back. Don't call me, don't call Y'all me. Go through him. Don't call me, don't call me. <laughs> and you got the CPFMs. Yeah, what are you doing, are you vending or are you just yeah, buying? Yeah, vending, trying to buy. Everybody taxing though. What's the key to buying good? You just gotta be confident, bro. Because if you're telling people offers and they know that you really got the money for it, they might just take it just because you're confident. Cash is king, bro. When you buy, are you always just trying to buy low or like how, how do you buy to win? When it comes to heat shoes, like three, four thousand dollar pairs of shoes, I try to buy a little low just because the profit margin's gotta be high. So I'm not gonna tie in a couple grand to make nothing. But the Smaller shoes, I'm making like 70, 100 bucks. I'm not tripping on it. We trapping shoes. What's the biggest buyout you had at a show? Probably like 10 grand, nothing crazy. 20 something shoes. What's the first flip you had and what's the biggest flip you had? My first flip was Yeezy Pirate Blacks, 350s. I got them for like 200, sold them for 800. I was like 15. Wow. Biggest flip, I paid seven grand for a one of 28 Jordan sample called Dress Code Jordan 4s. You can look them up. Sold them for like 28.5, damn near 30 grand. And that, kids, is how you afford to be dripped out in exactly. $30,000 worth of chrome. Exactly. Eba coming soon. Yes, sir. Yeah, you see you always, see you. What was your first flip? Flint 13s, and I sold them on eBay. How much you get them for, or how much you sell them for? Uh, like 40 bucks, and I sold it for like 120. What was your biggest flip or your biggest cash out? Uh, biggest cash out, like a collection? Yeah. Probably like uh, like half a mil, 600K. And how much did you turn that into? Like a, like a 1.2 mil, 1.1, 1. 1. 1. yeah. That's crazy. What is the secret to like having your staff and managing all these moving parts? The solid team, you can't do it alone. Everyone that's been working with us has been with us for like five, six years. So loyalty is very important and having a solid team. How much are you cashing out today? Not that much. We bought a million dollar collection yesterday. We're only spending like 50K, 100K. Yeah. Where'd you go to, where'd you get a million dollar collection from? So, you'll see the video dropping tomorrow. Soon. I yeah, appreciate, appreciate it, bro. It. Thank, Thank you. you. Manny, what up, bro? How you been? What's up? Yeah. You good? Hey, just boom, boom, man. He's yeah, the biggest like link we took out of here. Good luck, that was big because I got the Canon cosign right in front of Adele. Canon, if you guys don't know, Canon is the one that discovered Uzi. Me and Canon had a relationship for three, four years. I never went in for the ask. Guess what? He just came in literally mid interview, fucking cosigned me. I'm going F list to A list. Let's go. What you got, bro? Shit, whatever you need. Whatever I need on the house? Bro, you got you got that shit on, dog. How old are you, bro? 21, man. There ain't no way you're 21. This is fucking Benjamin Button over here. You look like you're seven. Where are y'all from? I'm from Atlanta. It looks more like you the cool kid and shit, and then all his parents is rich they got like nice 401ks and shit yeah they got <laughs> he got a band straight he got a mercedes shit like that what's the bangers at you know you know i don't know can you school me on this these are bass guns how you, much are these like six bands some calm nothing too much i got crazier shit though watch how, this how much did you get these for 45 what else you got that's going hey, crazy burn Burn, he said burn. Where do you get these from? Hey, we go Louis V Force. If you know, you know. I got an employee that work at Louis V, so you know how I get down. How much are these? Retail. How much you selling them for? Six bands. What was your first flip, and then what was your biggest flip? My first flip, I say probably like an off white four. How much did you buy it for, and how much did you sell it for? Retail was 220. I sold it for like 1800. How'd you get them for 220? I want to wish raffle. What's the biggest flip? Louis V Forces. It, ha it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna happen today. So it's gonna happen today for oh, sure. Nice to meet you, bro. My boy, we gotta interview you. If I wanna get this haircut, right? What do I ask them for at the barbershop? Cause my shit looking fucked up right now. I mean, I just get a taper and they line my shit up. What do I ask them for if I want this specific haircut? I get a taper. All right, barber, if you're seeing this, I need a taper. Where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. You flew out here? Yeah. Just to buy shoes? Yeah, for the shoe event, yeah. They don't have shoes out in Connecticut? No, they do, but I buy and sell shoes. Like, that's uh, what we do. What was your first flip, and then what was your biggest flip? We'll start with your first flip. My first flip, I think Game Royal 12, so that's what it was. How much you buy for, how much you sell them for? 
I think I bought them for like 100 bucks and I sold them for like 150. It wasn't too much. $50? Good. That's yeah, good. That's good. Little 50% What's your off. biggest flip? My biggest flip? Gotta get out the Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet. I probably made like 100, 150 on it. Not too much though. Divine Souls LLC. Next time I want the taper like this. My the boy's taper? stepping. Well, you're trying to get me to say the Edgar? I don't even know what an Edgar is. You want it? You what, want is it what, what is an Edgar? I know what I call it. You get a taper. That's all they give me. I like the haircut. My you haircut. It a little bit my, my haircut right now, it looks like uh, I just woke up out of bed. It looked like shit cut. Wait till I get my perm on Sunday. Me and the perm boys, we coming trim. If I keep pressing too hard, I'm gonna get punched today. <laughs> you did.